Tuesday morning. I am headed to a freaking funeral. I have to mix a funeral this morning, which, you know, money's money, work is work. But at the end of the day, it just feels kind of weird going to work at a funeral. These funerals typically are pretty simple. There's typically, you know, a keyboard input, a lead vocal input, a pastor input, um, you know, so it's manage three channels, right? If we have any issues today, it would most likely be like a guest musician that is bringing a sax player or something, an instrument that we don't have already patched a channel for, you know. That's when things might get a little crazy today. Beautiful funeral, things went pretty well. We had an incident where Pastor decided to leave his headset mic on and sit right in front of the PA. But uh, front of house tech, he had a good response time, so nothing too drastic. And we do have a pretty long rehearsal this evening. However, I, I just can't I can't sit around in Indy, you know, for six hours today and wait for it to start. So rush back. Terre Haute. We're going to work on a project at home. I'm trying to have this project done so that way when my wife gets home uh, she'll feel a little better. So, Also, I need space in my garage back and this project has been taking up the garage for quite a while. I also got a text from my wife today that said she put her two weeks in. So basically we have to make our first mortgage payment for like in a couple of days and she's quitting her job so okay, so these wood planks these are actually shelf units for this behemoth um <laughs> It's all the way to the floor, to the ceiling. Um, I built this because she is really into books right now. Uh, but shelves wherever she wants. I still have to fix this to the wall so it doesn't go toppling over. But now that that's drying, hopefully she will be able to uh, put this together uh, tonight while I am at rehearsal. So really I need to get some brackets on this thing so I know it's not gonna fall down. And when she gets back, she can uh, start putting them on the shelves. And I built, uh, I flipped the boards over and we actually, when she gets home, these will be dry. She can walk in, she could grab some hardware and start working on her bookcase. Very happy to have this project done and out of the way. I gotta get to work. So in Terre Haute, it finally stopped raining. Look behind me, see? It's bright out, it's okay out. Now look in front of me. We're driving into the darkness. Here we go. It is dark. 
it is cool it's not too bad it's like 30s um but i'm here and the mission today is uh live stream kick drum kick drum in general sounds like trash so we need to do something about that um really yeah we're gonna start with kick drum kick drum work on our live stream some more because that is an ongoing development and uh I'll let you know how things go. Acoustic audio by Goldwood. Luke, I have never heard of this, but judging by the microphone hanging from the XLR cable, um, I'm, oh my gosh, there's a remote. It, it lights up. Oh, it lights up? It goes into party mode. Yeah, yeah, let's not do let's not do that. Oh wow. I'm sorry. Are those connector ends made out of plastic? Yeah, definitely. We've um, actually uh, already had one of these break. Well yeah, we because like six of these or whatever. Yeah. Five of these. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let me put it up here. Like Fisher Price, man. Like and this is this is just this is one of those things where it's like, we don't have, we what did this cost you? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got lights in the horn. I can tell. Oh yeah. I'm back on the road again. We had a good rehearsal. We had to check a couple of 70 volt rooms. Uh, they've been having some issues there. Just user error. My kick drum. Super tight resonance head. Um, so we tidied things up a bit and I actually touched the monitor board for the first time in a while. That's all for today. So I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching and keep mixing on. Thank you.